We met, of all places, in front of Gristini's, some freakishly cold winter's day. You had on several unflattering layers of wool. I slipped on the ice with my grocery bags full. So you rescued some Fruit Loops I dropped by the curb. And I made some remark that your smile was superb. And you thought I was sweet, but you started to go. And I said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here at the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at 7. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. I waved and then I was gone. <laughs> Needless to say, you came back here to meet me, mostly to see if I'd show. There I was out in the cold with my jacket pulled tight. I took you to dinner, then kissed you goodnight. The next week we went to this terrible play, and the week after that drank hot chocolate all day. And suddenly eight or nine months had gone by, and I said, hey, what you doing the rest of your life? Because I'll right beside you as long as you want me to be. There's no question. There is nothing I have wanted so much in my life. It may sound immature, but I'm totally sure you're the one. And we had just begun. We got hitched in September, our favorite month, with a rock band that played in this old synagogue. And we bought an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash and we promised to take the day off. I had to stop into my office that morning, so you went walking uptown to that bakery, you know, when you heard on the street what you thought was a joke, till you noticed the sirens and saw all the smoke. So you're running back home with this feeling of dread to the voicemail I left and the last words I said. I'm sorry. I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why you even called him tonight. Well, today something happened that spooked you all right. You saw this storm cloud of papers fall down from the sky. And you thought of that day and you started to cry. But sure as you breathe, you heard me clear as day saying, hey, you're allowed to move on, it's okay. Because I'll be here. Even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater. Even if you go out on my birthday this year, instead of sitting at home, letting all of life's moments pass by. You don't have to cry, because I start going back to the places we went to together. When you take off my ring and you let yourself smile. When you meet someone handsome and patient and true. When he says that he wants to be married to you. When you call him one night and you meet him downtown. And you finally answer him yes. Tell Jason you will marry him. You will give him your heart. It has taken so long, but you're ready to start. Right now, I'm whispering congrats in your ear. Because you finally let yourself tell him that you will be here.